Hi, my name is Greg Laporte. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Sonnet Technologies, and I'm here to talk to you today about the XMAC Pro server, Sonnet's 4U rack mount a Thunderbolt expansion chassis uh, that also encloses the new Mac Pro and provides three slots of PCIe expansion and uh, expansion for all types of storage. When the Mac Pro first came out, people had two thoughts. Number one, it's beautiful, which it is. And number two, with all the expansion, PCIe cards, storage, and other devices that often are used with a powerful computer like this, that it was impractical to use it on the desktop. And in fact, for a while, many people had been speculating that the Mac Pro would be rack mountable. And so what we've done is we provided all of the expansion and rack mount capability that the Mac Pro needs uh, in the XMAC Pro server. One of the guidelines that we had to work with uh, in properly rack mounting the Mac Pro was proper airflow. And so the air intake on the Mac Pro uh, is in the bottom. And it has a very sophisticated fan system to cool uh, a lot of electronics and exhausts out the top of the Mac Pro. And so what you'll see is that we've created a rack mount solution that allows for proper air intake and airflow through and isolate it from the other components in the system, allowing it to uh, do its own job and keeping itself properly cool. So let's talk about the different components of the XMAC Pro server. We'll start with the computer mounting module, which actually holds the uh, Mac Pro securely in place. Uh, it's basically a cocoon uh, that wraps around the Mac Pro and is lined with a kind of a rubberized material to cushion it and protect the nice finish of the Mac Pro, but also to grip it really well so that uh, it can't become dislodged in travel. So it's really a road-ready system that could be used on tour as easily as in a studio. We, of course, have mounted a mechanical power button that actually touches the power button on the Mac Pro uh, in the front. We have an external USB, a front-mounted USB 3 port and all this is coming off of the Mac Pro on the side. So we include with the system a power cable, a gigabit Ethernet, HDMI, and the four USB 3, one coming to the front, and then the rest going to the back of the computer. There's cable management in place to secure the cables down. And this way you have full access in the back for the power the, and the uh, USB 3 uh, gigabit ethernet and HDMI. We don't have the Thunderbolt cables panel mounted because there's no such thing as a Thunderbolt uh, panel mount connector. Uh, but we do allow uh, for tie down of the Thunderbolt cables. And so the idea is that you mount it first uh, inside the computer mounting module, you hook up your cables uh, the way you need them. Any extra uh, Thunderbolt cables that need to be connected would be connected at this time. And then including the Thunderbolt cable that comes with the system that connects it to uh, the uh, three slot PCI expansion. Uh, and then you can just slip this whole thing into uh, the Mac Pro, uh, which I'll show you now. So to mount the Mac Pro and the XMAC Pro server, the front plate is removed. And then the whole computer mounting module with the Mac Pro in it slides into the chassis like this. And then it's secured from the back. And then the plate is returned and screwed into place. Now let's take a look at the three slot expansion chassis that comes with the XMAC Pro server. It also is accessible from the front and slides out. It is literally the same three slot expansion chassis that we use in the Echo Express 3D and 3R. It is uh, a three slot chassis that holds three full size PCIe cards, full height, full length. They uh, mount into the three slots of the chassis 
and there's an internal temperature sensor in this chassis that automatically controls the fans. And I got to tell you that this is definitely the quietest uh, expansion chassis on the market today. We really, our engineers have really done a great job of engineering the uh, cooling so that it's efficient but ultra quiet, something that you really want to have in your studio. It comes with auxiliary power to support cards like the uh, HDX, Avid HDX cards, and uh, it can support up to three HDX cards uh, in the chassis. And that's not as common a configuration, but it's definitely supportable. The cards are secured uh, by a, a clip that holds them in place. They're anchored in the rear. And uh, in this case, we have a four port SATA card, which is gonna support the expansion storage that's in the chassis uh, that you can add as an option through the mobile uh, rack mounting kit. And the rear is where we connect the power to the power supply of the three slot chassis. It turns on and off automatically with the Mac Pro. There's no separate power switch for this uh, expansion chassis. Uh, there's two Thunderbolt ports located here. They're Thunderbolt 2. With the ability to support up to three PCIe cards, which can be up to full height and full length cards, uh, we can support uh, one, two, and three Avid HDX uh, configurations, an Avid Native. Uh, what we see pictured here is two HDX cards and the four port SATA card which connects to storage expansion which we'll uh, discuss in a minute uh, that also can mount into the XMAC Pro server. RME audio cards, Lynx, Audinate, Focusrite, Yamaha. There's a whole list of compatible PCIe cards and DSP cards. A popular configuration is uh, Ad Avid native card with Universal Audio UAD Octo card and storage expansion, or many are using the Tempo SSD Pro Plus, which allows you to mount uh, up to two SSDs on a PCIe card. It has two additional SATA ports. This is popularly used as record drives today uh, so that you don't have to buy another external fast uh, Thunderbolt attached SSD drive. It's all contained within the chassis uh, and uh, ready to go. So once your cards are mounted, you simply load this back into the chassis and you secure it in the back and you're ready to go. The XMAC Pro server comes with the 4U chassis that mounts uh, and is supported in the front and rear of the chassis. Uh, the three slot expansion uh, chassis within the computer mounting module and then as an option we have the what we call the mobile rack kit like this one pictured here. The mobile rack kit is, uh, comes in the basic unit with a power supply, a fan, and cabling to support a variety of drive configurations. We've created a number of bundles uh, that are available. The most popular one uh, for Pro Audio is this one that has a Blu-ray burner, two two and a half inch drives, and a three and a half inch drive. Usually, the two and a half inch drives are populated with SSDs as a fast and reliable record drive, and then the three and a half inch drive is used as a backup. And then you can, and then you can record Blu-rays as needed. Other configurations include eight two and a half inch drives, three three and a half inch drives, which we call the Mac Pro Migration Kit. If you have a Mac Pro desktop, it's loaded up with a number of three and a half inch drives. You can just Simply migrate your cards over to the XMAC Pro server and uh, migrate your drives into the empty drive bays. Each of the bundle configurations comes complete with the uh, drive bays, the PCIe card that's required to support it, and the cable. So all you have to do is install it in the system and connect it up. Well, now that we've assembled the XMAC Pro server, let's take a look at it from the back. First of all, let's uh, look at the computer mounting module area, completely isolated full uh, open airflow for the Mac Pro as it's supposed to be. Panel mount connectors on the rear for USB 3 HDMI and gigabit ethernet. And then another power cable that connects to the little hub that's there, which connects to the short power cable going to the Mac Pro. 
There's a Thunderbolt cable coming from one of the ports on the Mac Pro to the three slot expansion chassis. You can see it's secured here with our Thunderbolt cable lock, which will secure one or two Thunderbolt cables if you're daisy chaining to another device uh, from uh, this chassis. As you know, Thunderbolt will support up to six devices in a chain, uh, and so that's why it has two ports to support that pass through for other uh, devices or for video. We have power cable for the uh, mobile rack mounting kit, power cable for the three slot chassis, and then our three cards are installed. This particular card supporting the uh, Blu-ray, in this example, the Blu-ray uh, burner, the two, two and a half inch SSDs, and the three and a half inch spinning drive uh, are supported by four SATA cables uh, connecting to the four port SATA card, which is also included in that particular um, mobile rack mounting kit bundle. These are special SATA cables that we've designed. They have locking connectors uh, so that they can be screwed in and secured. So outside, if you tug on the cable, it's not going to go anywhere. And then it passes through a little hole where all the cables can pass through from the card to the uh, storage that's inside the mobile rack mounting kit. So this is the XMAC Pro server. It's AVID certified. It comes with a five-year warranty and is the best way to properly mount a Mac Pro with all the necessary expansion that you might need. A popular configuration for this XMAC Pro server is to put it in the rack room, use an optical Thunderbolt cable over to the desktop, and use a Thunderbolt dock as your workstation on the desktop, putting all of this out of sight uh, in another room. If you have any questions about this or any other Sonnet product, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.